Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC. And we have been asked by Ovonic to do a test and review and uh, unboxing, of course, on their new, I guess new-ish, came out a couple months ago, Ovonic X1 Dual Charger. Um, this thing is awesome from what I can see and the couple videos that I've seen on YouTube. Uh, it can charge two batteries at once. You can charge anywhere between 1S and 8S. And uh, you can charge a 1S on one side and 8S on the other side or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, it is, um, let's see, I believe these are 200 watt uh, when you're plugged into AC and then 600 watt when you're plugged into DC. So that is one heck of a amount of power that's gonna go into this, uh, or as far as charging goes. So what I've been using are these IMAX, uh, I got an A6, and I believe this is a B, yeah, this is a B6, so this is the updated version. I'm gonna use this Tenergy here for my nickel metal hydrides and uh, then we have this one for, for Grayson's Traxxas because we don't have anything else that has a Traxxas adapter. Um, but I'm hoping that I can just kind of retire these two and put them aside, uh, take those with for, uh, you know, like when we go to Horizon Fest or something like that to have something to charge our batteries with off the truck battery. But anyway, so let's get to unboxing this thing. Um... I did cut the tape, but I haven't opened it officially yet. So let's see what we've got. Packed well. So we've got our owner's manual here. It's the X1. And in this bag, we've got our bag of goodies, which looks like it's got the power supply and all of the... Uh, pieces to adapt your batteries to it. Is there anything below the phone? Nothing. Okay. So, I'm going to get this out of the package here, and we're going to take a first look at it. It's hard to do this one-handed, guys. Okay, so on the bottom... Input voltage, output voltage... Max input current. So basically that just has all your safety stuff. And it's put together with ROHS solder, which uh, that means if you ever break it and you need to do something to it, good luck melting that solder. But uh, these do have a warranty on them, as far as I know. And uh, Ovonic seems like a really good company to work with as far as... Uh, uh, you know, they're holding up to their products, so that's that's a good thing. Um, so, it's uh, just to give you an overview before I plug it in. This is how you go back and forth between your channels. If you want to, okay, say you're on channel A, and you want to adjust channel A, you'd hit enter, and then you'll go up or down to whatever is on your menu on that and hit enter for whatever and uh, these are I, I guess a smart charger as to where they are um, so it will know that this Ovonic is a 3S and that this one is a 2S it will not know the milliamp hour so you're gonna have to put that in there so like this one will be 2.2 this one I will do on 0.8 because it's a 850 um, but, uh, let's get the bag of goodies out here. This one, I'm going to have to pause it to open it. So I'll bring you right back. All right. We got her open. See what all we've got in here. We've got our AC cord. We've got, uh, two XT60 to, uh, EC3s, two XT60s to EC5s, which I don't have any EC5s. Uh, we've got a USB cable, so because uh, this does have USB on it, 
And then we've got the ones that I'll use the most, which are uh, XT60 to Deans. Um, so as you can see in here, you plug the uh, XT60. If you have an XT60 battery, you can plug it right into there and then you have your balance ports here. But uh, I guess this is only 2S to 6S, so I misspoke on that. Uh, you can't do 8S on this, but that's okay. I'll never do have anything that's 8S. So anyway, um, one of the complaints that guys had on these is they don't come with a balance board. Well, you know what? Uh, this is a world better to me than these iMaxes because the iMax, I literally, like, for this battery, I have to put it, plug the balance port into the side like that and then either lay the battery there next to it and run it around or whatever. So, uh, and having stuff up here on my uh, battery holder, it's just kind of a pain to deal with. So having them both there in the front is gonna be great. And uh, so let me start by show, telling you why I grabbed these two batteries, okay. Every, everything I've got here right now is pretty much charged. Um, but uh, this one has been used and uh, is down to about 8 volts. So that one I'll be able to uh, charge a little bit. This one here, um, this Ovonic, the last time I charged it on my IMAX, it, uh, there's one cell that's a little out of balance. Uh, so I want to hook it up and... Uh, see if the charger will correct that. If not, we will discharge it, uh, put it in storage charge, and then start over. So let me get this thing plugged in, and uh, I should have grabbed an iPhone uh, charging cable because it's got USB over here on the side, and you can plug your uh, uh, you know, Bluetooth speaker, your iPhone, whatever, into that, and uh, charge it also. So let me get the uh, the cords out, and I will bring you back. All right, so got them both plugged in here, and this truly, for me, is not bad. Even though these leads are short, there's plenty of room to get up there, and uh, this perfectly works for me. So, uh, you know, a balance board might be kind of nice because then you could set it off in your LiPo bag or whatever to charge, which I may get one uh, just for that, but... I tend to sit right next to my batteries when they're charging so I can keep an eye on them uh, just because of uh, lipos. Now, nickel metal hydrides, I'll let go. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's check this out here. So showing channel A is at 8.1 volts and channel B is at 12.4. Now, it's also showing your... Right here, it's showing your voltage per cell, 4.03 to 4.04. This one's 4.12 to 4.13. And uh, so uh, this is it's showing that this is an 8.1 8 .8 and this is 12.4 uh, at zero watts right now. So there's no charge going into it. So let's, okay, we're on channel A. We're going to hit enter. Now, you go down to set task, hit enter. Oops, I did that back, did that wrong. Okay, we're on channel A. Enter. You don't want to go to start task. So it's showing that it's a 2S. Target voltage 4.2 for each. Showing that it's a LiPo. Select task. We want charge. Now, uh, the regular charge on this is a balance charge, but if you feel more comfortable, you can go down here to balance. You can also go to storage or discharge. So we wanna hit enter. We'll go down. 
target current, we don't want 15 amps. So we're gonna go For that one, we're gonna go to point 0.8. Now, we can go down here to start task. Enter. So that one is charging. So, we'll go back. Now we're on channel B. And so, we'll hit enter. And this is the first time I'm doing this. I've, I've only seen a video on it. And so, uh, target current, we're going to adjust that. This is a 2200 milliamp, so we'll go down to 2.2. Hit enter. Cell count, three cells. Target voltage, 4.20. Battery type, LiPo. Select task, charge. Now this one, we're gonna put it on balance just for the heck of it. Enter. Oops. Go down to start task. No, this is saying target current 15 amps again. So let's adjust that back again. I must not have saved that part. Two point two, enter. Now we'll go down to start task. Okay, so that one is charging. Charge completed. Okay. So let's go back. Channel A is still charging here at point eight amps. and it says it's 87%. So it's as simple as that. And I have not read the book or anything yet, just uh, kind of thumbing through it and uh, figured it out myself. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to bring you back and let you know how long it took to charge this battery and uh, we will kind of go from there. Okay, one thing I wanted to try is this uh, little uh, 850 milliamp battery. It's actually the twin to that one that I'm charging right now. Uh, it, the, the wire pulled out of the balance port. It got stuck. And so like putting it on my lipo tester, it's only showing one S. So I am going to plug this in and see if this smart charger says that this is one S or, uh, or if it's reading two S. It should read run, one, blah, 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 read one S. So I will uh, plug you in and or plug it in, and I'll bring you right back. Okay. So as you can see, it's not reading that second cell. Now, if I were to take that wire and plug it in there, now it's it's trying to read two S. Um, so. This is one of my batteries that I have to fix, and I actually have a new balance plug. I'm gonna cut this one off and weld, put or solder another one on there. But I just wanted to show you that, that uh, this thing is smart. While I've got you here, and I'm uh, waiting on the battery to charge here, let's talk about Ovonic batteries. So I bought this uh, when we got our Gen 8 Red Cat crawler and it can run on two or three S and I didn't have any three S batteries. So I bought this one. This thing, is, it's the most reliable three uh, S battery that I have. It works well, it lasts long. Um, I get just as much runtime out of this 2200 milliamp three S as I do out of this Z 5200 milliamp 100C uh, 2S battery that we run in the same truck. So that says something. It's our go-to battery for our crawler. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, these guys are, they make a good product and they know what they're doing and they're uh, continually trying to improve their product and their customer service.
Okay, so we're at 99% and the amperage rate is starting to come down a little bit. It's been charging for almost 15 minutes now. And uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I'd say, you know, it, it's charging pretty close to its uh, 200 watt output. Oh, uh, when these things run on DC, I was gonna tell you this, they are 600 watts of output power. That is just crazy nuts. So I know like uh, with the old school chargers, when you plugged them into a, a DC power source, they tended to charge faster than plugging in through AC. So maybe this is the same way, but uh, yeah, super, super cool. Um, I don't know that I will ever use the, the DC, but uh, it's a nice feature to have. So anyway, just thought I'd show you that. One of the things I plan on doing is I will never have anything with a uh, IC5 connector, I don't think anyway. Um, so I'm going to, on one of these, I'm going to put a Tamiya plug and on the other one, I'm going to get a Traxxas plug to put on there. So we can charge our Tamiya nickel metal hydrides and Grayson's uh, Traxxas nickel metal hydrides. Uh, you know, put into use what you have and, uh, uh, you know, it, and I think it's a good idea because like I say, I'll never have anything with this big of battery in it, I don't think. So something else I thought of with this is uh, with having the USB port there, if you've got something that has a proprietary charger that uh, doesn't have a balance port on it that has uh, just the USB kind of charger, you can use this uh, as your power block to charge that. And uh, we do have a few things here in our collection that have that. I also wanted to show we're at almost 20 minutes, we're at 99% and the amperage rate is dropping. So it's almost fully charged here in 20 minutes. Uh, that's pretty darn good. Um, and at charging at less than one C because this is a eight, 150 milliamp and we're charging at 0.8 which is 0.8 of an amp so anyway i'll bring you back when it's completely done all right it's fully charged and if you want the technical part of it it's showing to 4.2 and 4.2 so it's perfectly balanced so yeah uh now, the only thing that I have to say about this is uh, nothing bad, actually. Uh, <laughs> um, I do wish they would give a balance board um, just so I could stick them in the LiPo bag. But like I say, I always try and sit by my LiPo batteries when they're charging. And I've always got a chemical type fire extinguisher next to me. So just in case something happens, but uh, I never leave their side, but uh, would I recommend getting this uh, Ovonic X1 charger if you're in the market for a, a dual charger? Heck yeah. And right now they're on sale on Amazon, and uh, so you get like a, I think, 10 or 20% discount. Can't remember which, but uh, anyway, guys, so the only last thing we have to do is uh, gonna put, one of my Iowa Budget RC Basher stickers on the side of it just to make it my own. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Go out and uh, I'll put the link in the description. Go out and get yourself a Ovonic X1 dual charger. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll have a discount code for you here in the future. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit up our merch store, iowabudgetrcbashers.com. Have a great day.